Grain markets fell double digits after the latest USDA report. Michelle Rook has further analysis with Chip Nellinger in Markets Now. A lower day in the grains on Wednesday after the report. Chip Nellinger, Blue Reef Agri Marketing is joining us. And soybeans probably the biggest shock in terms of bearishness in the report. 100 million bushels above trade estimates. I think the question now, Chip, is are the highs in in soybeans? Yeah, you know, I think Mother Nature is going to have the final say-so there. We're only about uh, four or five innings into uh, this game. So, uh, you know, beans have a long way to go. They need continued cool weather and rainfall through the rest of July and, and most of August. Uh, they're still very much uncertain whether we have this high bar that the USDA has set now at 52 bushels. Uh, even though the carryout's 300 million, if you start working that yield backwards, it really cuts into the carryout quickly. Uh, for the time being, we may have topped the market. Uh, you know, I think it's important to see whether we can hold this week above last week's highs. I think that's 13, 15 and a half. If you can and rally into the end of the week or the first part of next week, the market may have, uh, you know, more to say or more assumption that uh, maybe that 52 bushel yield isn't realistic, but uh, certainly going to be uh, continue to be very, very choppy and very volatile as today's wide range uh, kind of, uh, you know, uh, is an example of. Yeah, so if soybeans have topped, which have been kind of holding the corn market up, and we're still at the same inning stocks number we were a month ago, how low does corn go from here? Yeah, that's the question. I, I think the, the case of uh, where corn goes from here is 100% on where beans go. If beans haven't topped and we need to spend some time north of $14, it's going to drag corn along with it, kicking and screaming. If beans have topped and they're going to put a dollar, dollar and a half break in, then that, in my mind, means that corn's going to go that much lower. The bear argument in corn now is, okay, we've got the, the yield kind of dialed in, say it's a bushel or two one way or the other, but demand is likely too high and the USDA could easily drop another two to 400 million out of demand over the coming months. And that increases the carryout up to maybe two, four, two, five, two, six range. So if beans have topped and they're going to put a bigger break in, maybe we drag this corn to a, a, an ugly level, meaning the 430s, maybe the 420s. I think the case of corn as to whether the low and where the low comes in at is entirely dependent on whether we just top beans or not. And I think it's going to take a week or 10 days, maybe longer to figure that out. All right. Thanks for joining us in your analysis. As always, Chip Nellinger, Blue Ray Factor Marketing. That's Markets Now, and we'll have more Ag Day coming up. Farming has changed. Markets are riskier than ever. For customized, focused commodity marketing, contact Chip Nellinger or Adam Dreyer at 309-550-7213.